do one last job, and then we disappear forever. First, we're gonna need a chameleon, someone who can blend in. What else? Utilities and weapons, guys, who ain't afraid to throw down. Oh. Most importantly, we're gonna need two precision drivers. You know we got that. The objective was to just bring in characters that you knew from other Fast and Furious films, ah. put them all together, and have a lot of fun. And this one starts with you got Mia, you got Brian, you got Don. They're running. They're doing everything they can. Maintaining a low profile. They're down in Rio. So they're fugitives and on the run. And that dynamic is exciting because you've never seen Dom and Brian on the same side. We're talking about breaking into a police station. This is crazy. We need enough money to buy our freedom. Bring us to a whole other country so we can rob the dude who runs it. I want to see what happens when we push characters to the edge, where Dom is saying, look, let's do a heist and take all his money. This is $100 million. You say what? I am down. This just went from Mission Impossible to Mission of Freaking Sanity. We stick to the plan. When we talked about Dom and Brian now on the same side, right away I knew that the new antagonist was going to be one of my favorite characters. All right, listen up. The men we're after are professional runners. We find them, we take them as a team, and we bring them back. And above all else, we don't ever, ever let them get in the cars. He's a unique guy. I find men, and I hunt them down, and I bring them in. Dead or alive, that's going to be up to them. Hobbs is the leader of the elite task force for the DSS. When the FBI wants to find somebody, that's who they call. Is all of this really necessary to apprehend two men? By the time my character lands, we show how effective and efficient he is within an hour. I'm on his ass, and I got you. Let's go hunting. We knew that the audience, more than anything, wanted to see a showdown between Vin and The Rock. You're going down, Toretto. Big mistake. That fight scene between Dom and Hobbs, that's just too juicy and too much fun. This was a dream come true. The idea to take an iconic character, Dominic Toretto, go up against him one-on-one. -on -one. We strip everything away. And now we go out and we see what happens. When we see these two fight in one of the most epic fights you'll see in film, it goes on probably three, four minutes, where they're going through walls, through windows, beating the hell out of each other. And it's just amazing. There's nothing like taking your fist and putting it right in somebody's face. At the end of the day, I think there's probably more fear towards Hobbs than prison. The action in this one is basically bigger than the last two combined. Not just car chases, but there's actually foot chases, there's a race, it's just jam-packed in there. And what I think we're putting together is, it's wicked. I think it's gonna be badass. Mm -hmm.